Hey guys, this is my friend Bonnie. Bonnie, tell everybody hey. Um, Remember, while you're at home, it's important to still worship and have a good time. We want to share a worship video that we do in Bridgeway Kids with you guys. Ready, Kendall? Oh yeah. Ready, Oscar? Yeah. Ready, Henry? Yee. Let's go. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Put on your armor guy. Put on your armor guy. Put on your armor guy. You got your armor guy. Got, got my belt of truth check. Rest plate of righteousness. Shoes of peace. Shield of faith. Helmet of salvation. Sword of the spirit. Helmet of salvation. talk about a really important verse in the Bible. We're going to talk about Exodus 20, 12. And we have a little visitor with us today. Hello, Hi. Jasmine. Hi. Jasmine, I noticed that when you came in this morning, you did not look like you were having a great day. Can you talk to Ashley and myself about this? Well, yeah. I was a little bit sad this morning. I was so excited not to be at school and have vacation time and just be at home. But then my mom asked me to clean my room. I'd already done schoolwork while I'm on vacation and she asked me to clean my room. But Jasmine, now is a special time. School is not happening so that we can all be safe and be at home. You are going to have to listen to mom and dad. And that's a great thing that you've come in and talking to us about today. We're talking about a verse in the Bible where God tells us if we do this commandment, we give a promise from the Father. Did you know that in Exodus 20:12? It says, you must honor and respect your father and your mother. Do this so that you will have a full life in the land that the Lord God gives you. 
Now, Jasmine, do you understand what it means to honor and respect? Well, I thought so. I mean, I did clean my room. Oh, Ash Ashley, I need you to help Jasmine. It is one thing to obey. We always want to obey. Mm -hmm. But there's something very different and added to the way that we should do it with the Father. Ashley, I want you to explain a little bit to Jasmine about what we're talking about. Of course. Jasmine, so honor isn't just being obedient. Honor also means that your heart is turned towards the person and that you care for them and you love them. Hmm. So, when my mom asked me to clean my room, I mean, I did do it, but I guess I did kind of sigh a lot like this. <sighs> oh. And I crossed my arms, and I was not happy. But well, then I did clean my room. Well, the thing that that shows us, Jasmine, is that actually reveals what your heart was feeling in that moment. And you know, the Bible tells us that God looks at our heart and he sees what's going on on the inside of us. I'm sure everyone can relate. We've all had moments where the father's asking us to do something, but we really just really don't want to do it. Um, being obedient is great, but sometimes that's not going to give us the right fruit. We want to have fruit from the Holy Spirit, which is love and joy and peace and patience and kindness and goodness and self-control. Those kind of things are what's going to help you grow, not just with your family and your relationships. It's going to help you grow with the Father. You know, does that make sense? Oh, I think I get it. So when my mom asked me to clean my room, I didn't do it with joy. That's right. That's exactly right. I see. Hmm. You know, Miss Kimmy, I'm so glad to be here each week and help you, but I feel like I need to tell my mom and apologize. Well, Jasmine, let me encourage you with this. Another scripture that we can find in God's word is in 1 John 1, 9. It says, if we confess our sins, God will forgive us. And you know the extra bonus for that, Jasmine? I know your mom, and I know that your mom is going to forgive you too. And I'm very proud of you, Jasmine. I know that, you know, I can even tell you this. If you will go in your room, ask your mom's permission and put on some worship music and ask the Holy Spirit to help you and to talk to you while you're cleaning, you will be finished before you know it. That's a great idea. Don't you agree, Miss Ashley? Yes, absolutely. We're so proud of you. Oh, thanks. Well, if it's okay, I'd like to go find my mom. I want to make sure I make it right. That's amazing. Thanks, Jasmine. We'll see you later. Thanks. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye, Jasmine. So guys, everyone has been there. We have all been in the situation just like Jasmine. We're asked to do something we might not want to do. Your parents, your teachers, even some of your friends. But if you will stop just for a moment and think, what does my heart feel about this? And what would the Father ask me to do? I promise, I promise you this, you will find joy in obeying with the heart posture for the Father. I hope this has helped you. We hope you have a great day. Hey guys, we're here in the prayer and worship room and we are about to play game time. Game time. Hey! We have our lovely Mario and colorful, what, what did you call yourself? Colorful. colorful dude. Colorful dude. And we are gonna play Would You Rather. So we encourage you guys at home, come and join us, play it with us. Grab a few bouncy balls and two buckets, okay? So. We have come up with some incredible would you rather questions. Kimberg, I'm gonna give you two, uh -oh. and then I'll have two. What you guys have to do is pick them up, pick up a ball with your lovely gloves or baby hands, and put them in basket A or basket B. Got it? What's ba what basket is this? A. What basket is this? B. Okay. Are you ready for question number one? Would you rather A, lick a dirty trash can or B, 
lick the bathroom floor. Gross. Oh, it's, it's a trash can. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bathroom floor. Oh, you want okay. to do the next one? Next question. Okay, you ready? You guys are really good at this. Did you practice? No. <laughs> Would you rather A, right? A, 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 be trapped in a room with a tiger, or B, be trapped in a room with a hundred stinging bees? <laughs> Neither. We would die both ways. <laughs> oh, this one's A and that one's B. I don't know. Oh. Okay. This is way easier than I thought it was okay. going to be. Okay. Would you rather be a famous singer or a famous actor? Remember, singer, actor. Oh! I feel like that would be natural. Natural. Uh, uh. Oh! Neither. <laughs> Neither. Got it. Okay, last but not least. You know what I kind of want to do? Can we change it up for a second? And okay. you and I do this last one? Oh, oh, I want to see if this is just as oh, no, easy. Can, uh, I want to see if it's as easy. Okay. Like baby hands or the gloves? Oh, I want these. Boom, okay. boom, switch. All right, wait, oh, let me do the hand clap. <laughs> Come on, Kenny. Aaron has the baby glove hands. Aaron has the gloves. Girls, we're going to keep this okay. Keep this loving. <laughs> Two times. Would you rather <laughs> A, have a pet bear, or B, have a pet rhino? Mm. Don't show off, Erin. <laughs> Remember, we just talked about honor and respect. Hey, that bear. Bear. Uh, I'm going rhino all the way. Oh, my rhino. goodness. Yes. Way to go, guys. What do you think? I thought it was. Good job. Feel free to play at home. Good job. Yes, it was awesome here. High five to baby. Make sure that you tag us with games that you are playing with yes, your kiddos yes, at please. home. We want to see what's going on. Yes. Hey, I am Kimberly Berg. I am the elementary pastor at Bridgeway Church, K-5 through third grade. And hey guys, I'm Erin and I'm over our Apex, which is our fourth through sixth graders. And we have some friends here with us. So why don't you guys <laughs> say your name, your age, your grade, and your favorite facial expression. Okay? okay? So let's go with you first. Hi, my name is Oscar, and also known as the Colorful Kid. My grade is third grade, and I'm eight years old, and my favorite um, face expression is this. <laughs> that went well. <laughs> Okay. Yes. Hi, I'm Henry, also known as Mario. Oh. <laughs> I am in fourth grade and I am nine and my facial, favorite facial expression is... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, well, do you want to introduce the verse for today? Yeah, so we are looking at Exodus 2012. Would one of you guys want to read this? Honor your father and mother, then you will live a long, full life in the land the word your God is giving you. Awesome. So when you both hear the word honor, okay, what do you guys think of? How would you define it in your own words? Um, respect. Respect? That's, That's good. good. Following somebody's orders or directions. Hmm. That's really good, too. Those are both good. Do you think mm -hmm. there's any more pieces to that definition? Well, you honor somebody because you care for them or love them. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's really that's good. That's really good. Okay, well, let me ask you this, and this is going to take some great honesty and vulnerability because mm -hmm. this is a hard question. <laughs> but I'm going to ask the easy one first. Okay, are okay, you ready? You. All right. Where have you guys seen honoring your mom and dad go well like and have like a nice. good result with you? When is a time that you have honored Mr. Jonathan and Miss Leslie well and it has gone well for you? Hmm. And Oscar, you get the added bonus of sitting on this couch with your mama. So it'll be really funny to hear what you say. Interaction. Uh, hmm. Oscar, let's start with you. I'm thinking. Silence. We can't have too much silence. Uh, someone scream in the background. 
Well, let's do this. Do you guys have an example of a time when you've been dishonored? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. When you've been dishonoring? Okay. Well, Oscar, you get first. So Easy. yesterday night, um, we were what we were finishing Frozen Two, and Jack was being really funny, and we all started laughing. And Paul was told to stop laughing, but Jack kept making faces, and we started to laugh. So he put Miles on the stairs, then he put me in a chair, and then he put Jack on the couch. Well, this this opens up something new because we're talking about honoring your mom and dad, but it's really honoring any authority that's yeah. in your household mm-hmm. because Oscar's grandpa lives with us. So that's a great example. Now, so it ended in what? So it ended in, so technically it ended in us getting all in trouble and sitting for probably eight or nine minutes. Was that fun? Mm-hmm. No. Do you think Papa felt good about that? No. No, he didn't. He told me it really stressed him out. What about mm-hmm. you, Henry? Uh, one time, um, I did something and I could get, like, things for my game, and I ended up spending too much money, and now I don't have technology till May, till May 1st. Oh, goodness, mm. so both you guys wow. had what I would call natural logical consequences uh-huh. that make a lot of sense, but they're no fun. No. Now let's talk about a time when no you Minecraft have... No Minecraft until I make the money back. Oh my goodness! Oh, sixty-eight dollars. Wow. That's yeah. a lot. That's For a how lot. old are you again? Nine. Do you have Nine. a job? No. Oh man, that will be hard to make that money up. <laughs> sixty-eight dollars. Okay, so now tell us about a time when you've honored and it's gone mm-hmm. well for you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. One time, I had to clean the car, but I didn't want to. Oh. But I did because they would pay me. Mm-hmm. You clean the car and you, um, you got an allowance. Okay. So $5. on Friday $5. when I was going to school, I did it with <coughs> ice cream money, which was fifty cents, and I felt and I really wanted it. And something good happened. My friend Fisher, he he had a dollar and he said he would pay for me. So that was honoring a friend. Yes. Sounds yeah. fishy. Well, you know what I was thinking about while you were talking is it sounds like you guys are having a hard time telling us about when a time is that you've honored. So I'm going to I'm going to give an example because you live inside yeah. my household and I experienced it with you yesterday. So I'm just mm-hmm. going to give an example. Is that okay for both of you? Yeah. One is when we have days in our household that go really really well where we all listen to each other and we take turns talking and um we don't argue, we don't hit and we just get along well, there's a lot of peace in our house. Mm-hmm. And we're able to do a lot more fun things wouldn't you say Mm -hmm. we go get ice cream we do things like that because it's peaceful and we can go outside Mm -hmm. of our house and trust that everybody's going to be kind Mm -hmm. and for you you told us that example of dishonor yesterday which happened the day before but yesterday you were with us all day and we had so much fun yesterday didn't we we laughed a lot we enjoyed Mm -hmm. each other you even asked your dad yesterday if you could play on his ipad and when he told Mm -hmm. you no you said okay and you went about your day, and we had an amazing day. Yes. Mm-hmm. I want to take two seconds and go back to the definition that um, you guys gave of honor. Mm-hmm. One of the definitions you gave was you said something about doing something for somebody because what? Mm-hmm. Well, you honor somebody because you love them or care for them. Mm-hmm. Right. See, and we call that being wholehearted. That's something that grown-ups like Miss Erin and I try mm-hmm. really hard to live out every day is being wholehearted. Mm-hmm. Because you don't want to just do things for people because you have to. Mm-hmm. A lot of the time you, you honor people because you love them, because you yeah. care for them, because they love you and care for you. So being wholehearted yeah. is a really big deal. That's huge. Yeah. Did you have a question you wanted to ask? What would that look like if you guys are, you just learned about what wholehearted means? How do you think you guys could do that at your home tonight and in the weeks to come while you guys are at home with your parents and siblings? Um, to do things without people asking you or to do mm, it when they ask good. you and go above and beyond. Yeah, so the first time obeying them. That's really good. That's really good, Henry. Mm. What about you, Oscar? Well, I would say being like when you're honoring somebody, you would have to be you'd have more care and more love for them Mm -hmm. and you'd have to obey them when they tell you to stop or to listen that's good listening is huge oh man and and listening when other people set boundaries is a really big deal yes yes I think those are great suggestions. Yes. You guys did a great job I think you got a firm grasp Mm -hmm. on what honoring and dishonoring looks like so 
Thank you guys for joining yes. us for our segment with our Apex and Elementary kids. And we look forward to seeing you next time.